Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another wig that we are going to be reviewing from RPG Show. This is their Dominic 29 wig. I'll leave the links to this wig and everything about it, everything that I use into this video in the description box down below. But I had to show you guys this wig and what I've been doing recently that has been changing the way that my wigs look. So if you guys have been noticing influencers get way better wigs, it's because they know different options to choose to make sure that their wigs look super realistic on camera, look super good in person. You know whenever you see that hairline and it's just like super realistic and it's a wig but you can't tell? That's because you don't know all the options. I know that there's like so many influencers that I watch and I am guilty of being one of them where we don't share everything and today i'm spilling all the tea i'm going to share everything that i know how to order a wig that really has the most beautiful hairline how to get a fake scalp on the inside and everything that you need to know to order from rpg show specifically to get a wig that looks super realistic and the reason why i actually didn't share any of this so this is the wig this is the dominic wig by the way she's super gorgeous she's such a cool tone pretty blonde with a little bit of roots at the top and so I'm gonna be applying her and showing you guys like just how I install her and all that. But the reason why I never shared all the options that I got with my wig was because I actually didn't know. So whenever we receive wigs, we get like what we're supposed to put in our description box and all that stuff. And all it said was the basic info. And I never reached out and asked like, hey, what is my wig specifically? Like what does my wig specifically have to get the same wig. And so I have all of the information today. I have all the info. If you guys have been wanting wigs like influencers, I'm sharing all the tea today. So today I actually have something fun whenever it comes to our RPG show wig. I usually don't have a fake scalp in the inside, but this is huge. I finally got my hands on an RPG show wig that has a fake scalp on the inside. So if you have, or if you're dealing with alopecia and you're laying your wigs on top of hair and you don't like to wear wigs, caps or any type of fake scalp tape or anything like that you don't want any work involved like foundation concealer it can be messy and so if you guys want a wig that already has a fake scalp built into it you can get that option so let's apply this wig what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure that I lay down my wig really well to do this I like to actually just do a middle part not that it actually matters because I have the fake scalp built already in so like usually I make sure I have a line right here so whenever my lace top wigs kind of lay on top you can kind of see my scalp underneath but since it has a fake scalp underneath I don't really need to be doing that but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a low pony and then I'm going to take some gotta be glue spray I actually have to go get it I'm going to take some gotta be glue spray and then spray down my hair with a board brush and that's just going to flatten my hair so good. So I've actually gotten my hands on a new board brush which I'm obsessed with. It has like a thicker side and like a less dense side and then a really thick side that just like really holds down all the hair. So what I like to do is I'll just go in with Gotta Be Glue Hairspray. This is the one that I like to go in with. It's very simple. You can get it at any type of pharmacy, Walmart, or even Amazon. I'll put the links to it down below as well. But what this is, is basically a hairspray. Now, a lot of people that do wigs, a lot of influencers, and just people that have wigs on daily use this because it's so sensitive onto the skin. It's very easy to wipe off. You just add some water. A lot of people use that to glue down their lace onto their wigs, but I like to use it for everything. So I like to spray my hair down, get it super flat. So I'm just gonna do that. And then we're actually gonna use this later on to melt the lace into my skin as well. So this product you can definitely use for like multiple stuff whenever it comes to wigs. And it's just like a really good buy. You cannot go wrong with this product. It's easy to wash out of your hair. You just simply go into the shower, shampoo your hair, and it's going to come right out. And it's also gonna come off your forehead as well. And press that down. I like to lift up as well because whenever I lift up, I'm going to be able to get the hairline on the wig close to my own hairline. If I left it, let's say like this, and I put the wig on top, then I would have to put the hairline of the wig right here. And because I'm pushing it up, now I have all this extra space. So we're going to push it back 
like so and this is actually the gentle side that I'm using so it's not hard on my hair at all it's not gonna snap my hair and I'm gonna go in with a wig grip now because a wig grip is so much easier than a wig cap since we have already a fake scalp it's kind of like a wig cap inside of the wig I'm not gonna go ahead and add an extra wig cap there's no sense of it so I'm gonna use a wig grip this is going to help my wig from slipping back it's going to hold it in place all day long and honestly I just like the feeling of it it's going to stick to the wig and the wig is going to stick onto your head so much better it's one of my favorites it just hugs the head it doesn't give headaches throughout the night you would think or like during the day um, you would think that it would give a headache but it's just like a really comfy headband so to apply my wigs I like to just like, you know, go ahead and flip it over. And then there's a comb into the back of the wig. I'm going to shove it into the back and then flip the hair over. And you guys can see the fake scalp. So what I wanna do is there's like a little space right here where you see my actual hair underneath. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that fake scalp and push it forward until it meets my skin. And now I'm going to adjust everything so this way it's not like the wig's just like forward like this. I'm sure you guys are seeing that this is such a beginner friendly wig. It's really one of those wigs that, you know, it's not hard to make it look realistic because the hairline is pre-plucked. You already have a fake scalp so you don't have to go in with concealer or foundation to make it look realistic. It looks super good right out of the box and RPG show wigs is so amazing with that. But what makes them truly like a beginner friendly wig is because of the lace that they use. So I want to show you guys a comparison. I asked RPG show to show me the difference between laces. I asked them to supply me with some so you could really see the difference. If you are a beginner to wigs, you probably don't understand the difference what Swiss lace is and HD lace and normal lace and what's the difference between all of them. So I want to explain, I want to sit here today and explain it to you guys why this looks so real. So RPG show uses Swiss lace. They use transparent Swiss lace. It does have a bit of a tint. Theirs has just like the tiniest bit of a tint. So this way it can match all skin tones. So if you're fair skin, your darker skin, it's going to match you no matter what because of this little bit of tint, the lace material it's actually made of is very thin compared to other laces. So I'm gonna put a picture right here really showing you guys in depth of what I'm talking about. You guys can see that their lace is so thin. So having a thin lace like this, it just melts in. Some laces, whenever you get it normal, like I would say like most wigs that you have seen have really thick lace. It's great, it works. But the thing is, is that the lace is kind of thick where you can kind of see the holes. So you know how lace all has like these little holes throughout and you can kind of detect it. Well, because this is Swiss lace, it's super thin. It's very light, very bendable. Like you can't see it and that's what makes it invisible. But whenever you have thicker lace, you have to manipulate it a bit more. You have to add product to it. You have to add foundation, a little bit of powder to really make it blend into your skin but whenever it's Swiss lace, it just melts because of how thin it is. HD lace is really good too. So if you see a wig with HD lace, it's really good. But Swiss lace is the best that you can get, especially if you're fair skin, you're gonna want it to say transparent. That is the most important part because no matter what, like if you're scared about cutting lace, whenever it comes to Swiss lace, like especially transparent Swiss lace for me, I can cut it like really bad. I could take like the worst scissors ever and not do a good job on the cutting, but it's still going to look like amazing on camera. It's still gonna look amazing in person. Nobody's gonna be able to see it. So here is where we're getting into the tea. This is what influencers get. This is the section that you're gonna to wanna to listen to if you guys have been wanting wigs like us, where we just like go like this. It looks like so real. It looks like we're, we're like effortlessly making a wig look amazing. It's not us, it's the wig. And that's like the biggest secret ever is it's really not us. Like we don't do a lot of work. It's just the options that we get, like that we choose whenever we're getting the actual wig. So the option you're gonna to wanna to pay the most attention to is if you guys want whenever you see the girls and they're going like this into the camera and they have this amazing hairline and it just looks like their own if you guys want this pre plucked hairline so you see all those spaces you want exactly what influencers get this like really amazing hairline you're gonna want to choose the deep pre plucked hairline option this is going to give you what I 
yet. It's an extra $20, but in my opinion, so worth it. That's where you're gonna get the wig where whenever you go like this, people are gonna think it's your own hair and they're gonna be like, how is that not your hair? How is that a wig? That's what's going to fool the eye. The second thing that I get is bleach knots. Whenever you see the option of bleach knots, there's light and then there's deep bleach. It's an extra 20 bucks as well. I always get the deep bleach, especially on, let's say if my wigs have a little bit of roots, you're gonna want that deep bleach because even this, I'm gonna show close-ups, it looks amazing. It looks like the hair is actually coming out of my skin. So if you don't know what bleach knots are, it's basically whenever they take the hair and they're putting it through the lace and they're tying it. There's always gonna be this little dot. So if you've ever seen a woman that's wearing or yourself and you put on a wig and you have all these dots everywhere in the front of your forehead and you're like, this looks completely disgusting and I could tell that it's a wig, it's because you don't have bleach knots. So the company, what they'll do is they'll flip the wig over, they'll bleach the knots, on the inside so this way you don't see all those tiny dots the tiny dots are there but you don't see them because they are bleach so what I like to get is deep bleach whenever it comes to RPG show wigs I make sure to get deep bleach because when you get that especially with the dark colored wigs it's going to look like the hairs actually coming out of your skin and not from like a little round black ball. Another thing that I got into this wig, which I think is so important. So like I said, if you guys have hair underneath your wig, you're going to want to get a fake scalp on the inside. This is option. Like nobody's getting it into their wigs. And I think it's because nobody's really showing it. That's fair skin anyway. Like I know a lot of other influencers are showing it, but fair skin ladies, I feel like they're not getting those wigs. And that I, I, I even wondered, I asked them, I was like, okay, so if I get a fake scalp, what color would I need? Like, I didn't even know. And so they answered back and they told me I needed the nude color. It's the nude fake scalp. So this is going to be an extra $10 to your wig, but it takes out all the effort of having that middle parting. This looks so realistic. It makes the wig look real. It makes the wig just look like amazing. So these are the options that are super important that I felt like you guys needed to know. It's what I asked RPG show. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly what I was getting and explained everything for you guys. Because it has a fake scalp underneath, you're gonna be able to part it however you want. And if you guys are putting this wig on top of your bare scalp, then you're not gonna want a fake scalp underneath because the lace at the top is going to show your bare scalp underneath and it's going to look so realistic. So she is 20 inches long. She is 100% virgin human hair. So you're gonna be able to style her however you want. She is 200% in density. She's pretty thick, but also like the perfect amount of hair as if like let's say you had long hair and you added a little bit of extensions that's what she feels like she feels so good on but let me show you guys what she looks like after being you know installed cut i'm going to cut the lace off so now we're going to cut the ear tab i think i'm going to explain this in real time with you guys i've done a voiceover like this but i think sometimes in real time it helps as well so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to make see how my ear is tucked underneath the wig. That often happens whenever I'm doing wig reviews because I have a large ear and my actual hair is popping through. So I'm just going to push it back and take my ear out. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to find my ear. I'm going to take this hair, lift it up. I'm going to take this clip and clip this back. And what I'm trying to do is find my ear tab area and kind of circle around my ear. Once I find my ear and I can see it underneath, what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to go straight from the lace right from here and cut along my ear without snipping it. And then... After that, I'm pretty messy. I just cut away and I don't really care about what's behind my ear. Unless you're gonna have your hair up, maybe be more careful, but for me, I just like cut away. It's around the ear that's the most important for me. And then I like to take a little piece of hair, kind of give myself little, 
not like sideburns, but you know like that little piece that's always really, really short next to your ears. I always have that. Maybe that's just me, but I always have these little pieces that's so short. And what this does for me is whenever I'm gluing down the lace, it also just helps keep the lace down. If I would not have this here and it was a long piece, it wouldn't keep it down as much. I don't know what this is. It's like a little anchors for me <laughs> whenever it comes to my wigs and it really helps the lace stick downwards. So I'm going to go from here, follow the hairline, and cut off the rest of this lace. And because the lace is just so good, like it's really hard, like you don't really have to worry that much about where you're cutting or how much lace that you're leaving. And so from here, what we want to do is we want to style this wig. And like I said, you could go ahead with Gotta Be Glue Spray, spray down a little bit part like underneath the lace. You always want to make sure that you're spraying under the lace, putting the lace on top and using a hair dryer and keeping that lace down. And that's going to last you all day long. It is not going to budge. It's not going to move. And you are going to be able to like walk out of your house and have your lace look amazing and your wig not move a like at all and it's just going to look like your real hair especially if you have a fake scalp underneath you don't want that fake scalp like it did before whenever i was cutting around the ears you don't want it to slide back in any type of way but yeah so this is what the wig is looking like she is beautiful you could style her you could cut her you could bring her to your hairdresser and have your hairdresser style her however you want because she has human hair you can cut her you can do anything you can even dye her and put some streaks in and customize her completely she's so beautiful but what i am finding with this wig is that it's a little puffy i'm feeling like she's a little bit puffy for me i would like her to be a little bit more sleek so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with a lot of body you can even use this to like glue down your wig and it would work but what we're gonna do specifically is we're going to just section off the hair and you're going to see one side of my um hair is going to be one side of my head of hair is going to be super flat and look super realistic right after this trick so what i like to do is i'll either like put the foam straight on or i'll put the foam onto the brush let's put it onto the brush for today and that's a lot i kind of got carried away <laughs> but since it's underneath it's not going to show that much so i'm going to push this foam into the hair this foam doesn't make it like icky it doesn't make it all like hard or gross it actually is really nice in the hair and it smells really good too i am very sensitive to smells and this smell i can tolerate it's a little bit like coconut that is what it is right it's coconut shea um oils so it does smell a little bit like coconut so if you guys like that smell that is what this mousse smells like so i'm just going to go up here as well use the leftover that's onto the brush just to see what we can get with the leftovers and push that through can you guys see the difference that it did one side's a little bit puffy it looks like a wig whenever you get wigs straight out of the box they're always going to have this type of wig look no matter what wig you get it's always going to look like this but whenever you get a wig it's really good to go in with like a little bit of mousse i'm just going to wipe that onto my hand because i feel like that's a lot and really press down the hair and it's going to give you a really natural look and i like to go right into the front push it up so it gives that little swoop. Instead of using a hot comb, a lot of ladies are using hot combs to get that little swoop. You don't have to use a hot comb. All you need is some a lot of body mousse. This is like $6. I'll leave a link to it down below and it's super affordable. But yeah, that's all you need with a comb, like a boar brush. And it's going to give you the same look that you would get with a hot comb. Crazy. And I do have some flyaways, so I'm gonna go in with some hairspray and just smooth out those flyaways. You could also go in with the flyaway stick that you get inside of your package. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you get inside of your package right here. So you get so many things. You get like a bag for your wig, you get like a flyaway stick, you get actually conditioner. So this way you can actually wash your wig. You know that you're washing your wig with what you need to wash it with. I hope you guys 
enjoyed this is the wig this is the dominic wig she's so pretty so beautiful you guys have been looking for a really beginner friendly long beautiful stunning wig i'm gonna have her linked in the description box down below you can also use my coupon code i do have a coupon code i'll put it here on the screen it's gonna give you some money off and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next bye guys